Hey guys, today we're going to understand how to use a decal properly as many people have complained about how decals don't work in World Conquest. I'm here to solve that issue. First off, you should search up Roblox Marketplace if you don't even know the website itself. Go ahead and click on the website that has this link, createroblox.com. Mine shows up models. Go ahead and click click that. If you're not signed into your own account, make sure you do that first with your actual account that you use for World Conquest. Don't use alt accounts or anything like that because you won't get the same decals. If you're not already on the dashboard, go ahead and click dash. Now go uh, into development items. Make sure you're viewed as your avatar. Go click on decals. Now you can see the list of your decals. If you haven't made a decal yet, click on upload asset and make your asset. It takes a while to uh, fully upload. Now, if you already have a working asset, it's already been uploaded, go ahead and click asset details. Clicking on the three dots. Once you do that, you should be seeing something like uh, this screen over here, it shows the specific decal as well. Now, go ahead and click on this image icon. It should take you to a similar page, but the ID should be changed as well. Go ahead and paste this ID and go into the World Conquest game. Now that you're on the world boss game, go ahead and create a part like I've done here. Now go on the image icon that looks similar to the one we did earlier. Go ahead and click on add decal, make sure the side is at the top so it faces the right direction. Make sure the mode is decal that because you are using a decal, not a texture. Go ahead and insert your image ID into the box below. Once you do that, it should show you a, a highly detailed image of the part. Unfortunately, it won't automatically adjust to, to what you, whatever you want, so you have to resize it and move it around to fit your needs. Make sure your in increment is detailed enough to uh, specifically implement it and adjust it to the correct position. Let's go ahead and move this to Central America. Now that we're on Central America, we can go ahead and rotate if we need, moving it as well. You can go ahead and make this increment 0.01 as well. And then go ahead and adjust it as you need, like I will right now. As you can see, the decal has been overlaid. While it might not seem perfect, it was just a quick representation on how a decal should be overlaid. As you can see, I have gone to the gear icon and made it fully transparent, the part that is. And with the decal, you can go ahead and tinker with the transparency to see if you can see it correctly. Make sure the decal is not under the uh, actual part itself. Once you do that, you should be able to fully see it. I hope this helps, and I hope you do well on your mapping endeavors. This is Favion, Error Developer and Administrator, signing off.